Hey everybody, I can finally be out in the studio without sweating. Yeah guys, it is finally that time of year. Good crisp weather, the perfect time to be out here in the studio finally making videos and that's what we're doing today. What do I have here for you? Finally, four series Centennial carbon fiber tripod from the Colorado Tripod Company. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Just take a minute. Also, look how massive that is. My God, that's the first thing that struck me. But believe me folks, uh, this may be a purpose built tripod, but it is also probably, and I hesitate to say this, probably my favorite tripod that I've used to date, at least in this class. And I'm gonna tell you why. The good folks at the Colorado Tripod Company sent this to me a while ago, believe it or not, the very first model that I had, and this is a pre-production model, I think it's coming in to uh, full consumer production here, hopefully in the next coming weeks. But the model I was sent, it was perfect, all aside from a little angle lock here. It had this just random little file mark on there. Honestly, it didn't bother me, but I did let the Colorado Tripod Company know, and they sent me another one. This is what we're having here. This one is pristine. I've used this tripod everywhere, guys. Literally, well, maybe not literally, but almost coast to coast from here in Tennessee, California, Arizona, New Mexico, throughout Texas. I have quite a few uh, images made with this tripod, but like I said, it's really, it's almost like it's a joke how big this thing is when you take it out of the box. So I'm gonna give you a few specs just to kind of bring everything back into context. This thing weighs almost spot on five pounds. It is, that's about 2.27 kilograms. The maximum height, that is the extended height here, is gonna be from the feet to the top of the base right here without any kind of head on there. That is gonna be about 70 inches. That's about 178 centimeters. Just so you know, the base I was using is my always faithful Manfrotto fluid head here. This is the 500H, MVH 500H, and it is resting upon a Manfrotto 438 leveling base. All in all, this thing is about six and a half inches tall. That is, I've got it written down here, six and a half inches, that's 16, roughly 16 and a half centimeters. So that is in addition to the 70 inches. So you're looking at 76 and a half, roughly 76 and a half inches of tripod fully extended. And that's not even the camera. I shot with this primarily with my four by five speed graphic. I did put my zone six four by five on there as well. But the speed graphic is what I shot with this uh, for the most part anyway. And I think this is gonna be the kind of tripod for my fellow large format and larger camera shooters. And like I said, folks, it is not light per se, but I'm thinking that's really all relative because this was nowhere near as difficult to lug around as I thought it was gonna be, at least for me. If you want to compare it to uh, something you may know already, this is the two series. Centennial tripod. This is the four series right here. Four series, two series. The four series collapses down to roughly two feet, about 24 inches. This one, you can definitely carry on a plane. Questionable on the four series, but man, if you want something that is rock-like, the four series, 100%. So just a few things to mention here. It is a four section tripod. Unlock these. According to the Colorado Tripod Company, these are, I think, quarter turn or three quarter turn. I think quarter turn. So there's not much throw on these leg release, um, these leg release knobs here. Very grippy, very rubbery, very tacky. I really love that. Four series, so that's four sections. One, two, three, four. It comes with the rubber feet attached, but I was shipped, and I believe the production model is gonna be shipped with these as well. 
these equally laughably massive, hope you can see that, um, spike feet. So mud, ice, snow, anything you need a lot of grip, you're gonna have that option as well. It's interesting to mention that the weight virtually does not change on the four series between the rubberized feet and those spiked feet. They both weigh in the area of about four and a half ounces. Now, if you know tripods, guys, if you've shot large format and you do a lot of photography to where you're using a larger type of camera setup, whether that's video or still, you'll realize this is really nothing new. This type of tripod, you look at the Gitzo uh, systematic tripods, those are bowl, well, some of them are bowl tripods, the majority of them. This one is a flat base. A bowl tripod lets you put a bowl head on there. And it's, it's like I said, it's a lot to do with video. It's a lot to do with... Um, I said larger, larger uh, mediums of photography. I've actually mentioned this in my other tripod video, talking about uh, Hudson Henry. He used uh, system. He uses a lot of systematic tripods. He's actually the one to kind of ruin me on fluid heads for still photography. But anyway, uh, the reason I mentioned that is this does come with a flat base stock. The Colorado Tripod Company. I've been informed by the owner they are working on a leveling base. And the leveling base is this, more or less this Manfrotto here. If you're using a fluid head, it allows you to correct for the leveling. That one, um, I'll put it in the video here. I think that was like $129. I've not seen the Colorado Tripod Company's leveling base as of yet, but I have been assured that is on the way. What else, what else? trying to think of anything else I can tell you. The uh, big thing about this is guys is going to be, it is again, very specific. It's purpose built. If you're used to using more of the standard fare type of tripod like this one, I love the Centennial 2 for literally everything. It's a lot bigger than that, uh, but not by, not by, that's probably not fair, not by a lot, at least perceivably, at least on paper, it's a lot bigger than the Centennial 2. But if you're used to carrying around a more general size tripod, especially the travel size tripods, this one is going to be a definitely a change for you if you're not used to experiencing the super massive tripods. And with, uh, I'm, I'm roughly 6'4", six, four, six, four, uh, six feet, four inches tall. When I put the fluid head and the leveling base on, it's almost as tall as I am. When I put Marcus on there, my four by five, or virtually really any other camera that I have, this thing is taller than me. And that affords you a lot of creative potential if you are doing that kind of shooting. But that being said, while you of course can put any kind of camera on here, you probably would want to go, at least for practicality's sake, with a smaller tripod, whether that's from Colorado Tripod Company or otherwise. Um, yeah, this one, at least for me, and I do a lot of medium format and a lot of large format shooting. If you're the type of person that does that kind of thing, I'm not gonna lie to you folks, you will absolutely love this tripod. If you shoot four by five, large format, if you shoot eight by 10, especially, and if you're one of those psychopaths who shoot 11 by 14 inch large format and above, personally, I would not be afraid to put any camera rig on this tripod. It doesn't matter. If it was a few years ago, maybe I was 70 pounds lighter. Uh, I think I could probably put, do a pull up on this tripod. It's that strong, I have that much faith in it. And I think if you give it a whirl, I think you'll really like it too. The good part is I checked today Oh, uh, take my word for it. I checked today. I'm not sure what the day is. Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> but this tripod was going for uh, $499. If you look at the Gitzos, if you look at some of the higher price tripods, literally same type of setup, half the price, guys. So... Take from that what you will. I can't see you wanting anything as far as the ultimate far end, the ultimate far end of the spectrum on ultra strength, ultra stability tripods for virtually any kind of photography. Carbon fiber, four series Centennial from the Colorado Tripod Company.
And if you want to have a more concise idea of my thoughts and the specifications on the four series here, check out the full written review. It's going to be posted over on contrastly.com, probably about the same time this video is released. So if you're the type of person that really wants to have some hard print uh, information to go along with your products, be sure to go check that out as well. <sighs> okay, I'm done gushing about this tripod, folks. I would highly suggest uh, when these do come on the consumer market, hopefully sooner than later, I'll definitely try to let you know in the description when that's going to be uh, actually released. Pick one up. I don't think you're going to be disappointed with it in the slightest. I've never been disappointed with literally any Colorado tripod company tripod or ball head that I have encountered thus far. This one is no different. And like I said, just from my experience, them replacing it for the minor, minor cosmetic difference. I think that says a lot. So until next time, guys, I'm Adam Wells. Thanks a lot for joining me. Have a good day, everybody.